Pet Place Football Manager. Hello guys and welcome to Pet Place Football Manager 2013 Season 3 Episode 1. We just finished another great season. Why is it great? Uh, well, we are going to have a look why it was great. And we are also going to look about, uh, you know, the future. What are our plans and see exactly how things are going to go. Hopefully you are going to improve uh, some more because there you can always improve in Football Manager. Unless maybe if you are, you know, taking a top team. But with Wolverhampton Wanderers, we started in the championship. We got promoted and now we got into UEFA. UEFA. Why? Because we won the English FA Cup in a game versus Nottingham Forest. All right, and as you can see, if we look at the stages, you can see EC over here near Wolves. Now, in theory, I was aiming for a place in the seventh spot or the eighth spot because I thought, uh, according to the rules, if you finish in uh, the seventh position, you will qualify for the third qualifying round in the UEFA Europa League. Uh, however, since uh, Manchester City won um, the other cup that the England have, uh, the spot, the qualifier spot went uh, a bit down because Manchester City also qualified for the Europa Champions League. Uh, so in theory, I think Everton will play um, in the third qualifying round. And that was I was aiming for. However, since I won the FA Cup, it seems that I don't have to play any qualifiers. I'm already I'm I'm already in the Europe, and that's awesome. Now, from what we see, QPR, Southampton, and Aston Villa got relegated. Yeah, Aston Villa got relegated. That's pretty huge. And I want to try to snatch uh, some of their players. More exactly, I want Darren Bent. Of course, I need a s forward. And Darren Bent seems very strong, however he has a pretty huge value and a pretty um, huge salary for me at least, according to last season standards. Now, um, maybe we will manage to get him, maybe not, I, maybe we'll find uh, some other players, better players. Don't know, don't know, but I'm having this player in my looks. I have also been offered Fabian and Delph. Uh, but I kind of don't want him because I already have a midfielder center and a midfielder left uh, also got Albright as a backup. Now, get this. The best goals of the season. The number three is Gervinho. This guy from Arsenal in a game versus Aston Villa. Let's have a look. Arsenal is playing in yellow, so have a look. Gervinho takes the ball. He runs with it into the flank. Then he goes around the defender and he shoots. <laughs> <laughs> now that was some kind of goal, right? Now the second goal is uh, from Manchester United in the game versus Manchester City. Uh, the scorer is Nemanja Vidic, who is the central defender, of course. Baines with a throw in, Bale back to Baines, Baines, Chandler and Vidic and Ben. To be honest, I am not too impressed of that goal. But the goal on the first place is from Vladimir Darida, a player from Wolves, our team. Vladimir Darida looks like this right now. He improved a bit. And now let's see his goal. Now, I know that in 3D the stream, the you know, the recording might seem like shuttering, so that's why I will play the goal again. Um. In 2D. 
you know, classic 2D. And the reason why it's shuttering like that is because of the recording program. Anyway, Borog, the goalkeeper, is passing directly to Foley. Foley is passing to Darida and then Darida. Bam! Goal. Goal. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Now, check this out. This is uh, news. The board have set the initial payroll for the coming season to 1.2 million per week and the transfer budget of 43 million. 43. I can buy a lot of players for those money. I will actually start making um, junior team. I already have some juniors that I bought. I've showed them in, uh, in the last episode. However, I want to have a good junior on each position. You know, defend the left, strikers and so on. I think I have like three defensive midfielders, so that's not good. Now, I might also consider buying uh, Leonard Keuke because he seems uh, strong, uh, depending on how much Arsenal is asking for him. We will see that after the you know the season hasn't you know like officially finished. I mean it did finish, no more matches, but the game didn't uh, did didn't do the reset. You know now the thing is that the transfer window has started, and I kind of need to start looking for players. Uh, if you look, um, hmm, this guy. 11 million, 11 million dollars. He has dribbling, he has speed, anticipation, uh, and he's kind of. Uh, we already see that two, two teams made an offer. However, I somehow don't want to rush into it. I need a good. You know, I, I want to place with ins. However, I might want to look into a you know replacement for Bakari Sako. Not that you know he can improve, because Bakari Sako is a bit older. Uh, but this guy, not sure yet. That's why I'm not going to start uh, hitting the continue button now. This guy, you know, I have been looking into this guy. Uh, because he can play as a defender left, as a defensive midfielder, and as a defensive right. So he's pretty versatile. However, this guy costs around yeah, 8 millions. So I might look into the other opportunity and buy this guy, Lars Christopher Vilsik. <laughs> Something like that. He can also play defender right and defender left. And that's what I mainly want. Uh, he seems to be much cheaper and uh, however he's from Norway he speaks English and that's a good thing of course he's from Norway and uh, Scout says he's three stars so since he's much cheaper I might go for him let's do an uh, inquiry and see if uh, I will get a response in the meantime, I will also try to make a bid on Wilson. Let's actually do a comparison. A compar Something like that, right? <laughs> As you can see, stats right now kind of go for Mark Wilson. Defensive roles, full back, as... Uh, support you know tackling the same marking better for the right guy but this guy also has first touch Con concentration is about the same so <coughs> boot players are kind of you know similar if you look at the abilities they need like sure you see a big green bar here but this is influence i don't actually need a player with influence uh, anticipation two more points for the guy from norway First touch free kick, a lot of uh, you know points as free kick for Mark Wilson, but maybe I will get another guy to take my free kick, so it's irrelevant. But what's very relevant is tackling, which seems to be the same. Passing, 
in my opinion, who seems that Mark Wilson has two points, you know, better. So right now, t- this is the main question. Mark Wilson is maybe, maybe a little bit better, but Mark Wilson costs eight millions, and he might, he he, sh- he will surely ask for a bigger salary. However, Mark Wilson preferred foot or either he can play with both of them. So let's actually try to make uh, an offer for him because I don't want to be left behind and do it like this and then we will see maybe what kind of contract I I, I know for sure that I need uh, a defender left the thing is that I also have this guy coming in I got it I got him for free in the middle of the season so that's why I thought like okay he's free let's get him as a backup he is uh, he's having three starts in the half as a defender right he seems much better than Ronald Zubar as a defender left he seems uh, worse than Steven Ward however Steven Ward has been playing like shit for the whole season so I really need a good. Actually, he was. I also he, he was a lot of times injured, and I stopped using him. Uh, then I've got um, Razvan Ratz, who I'm not going. Uh, who played pretty well, to be honest. As you can see, his stats very very well. A lot of passes. Oh my god! I'm just looking. See, in this match with Nottingham Forest, he made 95 passes. Oh my god! So you see, this is why uh, wing back is very important and I should also try to find the main player with good freaking taking because I don't have good players with freaking taking and uh, since I had the rats rats in my team I've seen some pretty decent free kicks of course no goals but he kind of got the ball in now let's have a look at season summary in the last episode in the last uh, season I haven't I wasn't able to find exactly where the season summary is located so you need to go to a country and then on that country you have a season summary so uh, the winners are Chelsea relegated QPR Southampton and Aston Villa kind of surprisingly top goal store Papis Cisse from Newcastle this guy has huge finishing and huge off the ball Actually, I haven't seen a player like this in a long time. And most assists, Antonio Valencia from Manchester United. Man- Va- Valencia is from... Huh. Information, nationalities. Since when is Valencia from Ecuador? I thought he was from Portugal. Then I'm stupid. Anyway, back. Overachievers. Wolves. That's me. We are overachievers. Why? Because we were expected to avoid relegation yet. We managed to finish on the ninth place and we managed to qualify to Europa League. Underperformance, Fulham. I would actually say that underperformance are Aston Villa, not Fulham. Signing of the season. Chelsea, Leonardo Florente for zero dollars. They got this guy for free. Oh my God. How, How could that be? They got this guy for free. Oh my god. This guy is also pretty awesome. And West Ham Claudio Pizarro also for free, but his I would have him I wouldn't have signed him. But it seems that it worked for them because he got 18 goals. Besides that worst signing of the season, Southampton Nick Vierger something like that. And yeah, he seems pretty sucky and low rating. And Southampton James Chester for 12 million. <laughs> it seems that Southampton managed to get two players as worth signing of the season. Now, on uh, End Power Championship, Sunderland got promoted and Norwich and Reading. So, Norwich kind of got back, relegated Crystal Palace, whoa, Preston and Bournemouth. Top goal store Andrew Kioch from Millwall. And let's have a quick look at my goalkeeper that I've loaned him to Millwall, Heinz Linder. And he actually played a lot of games for them. 
and he did it he did it pretty decently from as you can see 8.3 over here and average rating 7.12 so i'm happy that my third goalkeeper actually managed to get some uh, games under his feet back to the season summary and power league one leads got promoted among coverty and crew and that's kind of all that matters signing of the season on the championship is luke verney for 1.7 million dollars and david davis <laughs> this guy is from my team i i think let me check curry stats yeah he was at wolves and then i sold him i i released him for free <laughs> David Davis. Hey son, what's your name? My name is David Davis. <laughs> That's funny in a way. I was thinking on buying Faulin, but good passing, good first touch, technique, this flair and decision, but 17 million dollars not right now. I still need to focus on buying a uh, defender left and uh, an attacking midfielder left or right then Wolves fun players of the year has been decided as Roger Johnson again this guy two times in a row players of player of the year decided by Wolves and that's pretty huge this guy has been playing pretty awesome again the whole season goals and yeah, as you can see, 7.23, 7.31. World's best 11 has been announced. View the best 11. Kevin Doyle. Le Keuke. Actually, I, I should try to attempt to sign this player. Then, Bakari Sako as a winger. Thomas Ince as a winger. Ruben Jensen as a, this is my my main passer you know the creative midfielder and Vladimir Darida made it to the that's a bit strange Vladimir Darida with a rating of 7.4 he made it to the to the dream team I was expecting Carl Henry but he's 6.90 and as defenders Ward, now that's strange. I was expecting to have um, Razvan Ratz, even that Razvan Ratz only played a few games, but he played them well. Danny Beth, Robert Johnson, and Kevin Foley as a defender uh, right. Usually my defender right was uh, Zubar, but he got injured and then uh, he kind of played bad. And Hennessy as my uh, goalkeeper. And I actually love this button. Where are they? now and if you click it your press secretary has sent a copy of an arch article featuring Wolverhampton Wanderers team of 2013 <laughs> you can actually do this for uh, the past season also and you will get an article with but I, I still have all the players here anyway but it's nicer when you advance uh, you know when you advance and get more seasons to see what are your old players and how they have how they evolved Players inducted in Wolves overall best 11. You can also see your overall best 11. And basically it's kind of the same players. Well, Darida didn't make it to the overall. But uh, yeah, kind of the same players. And let's see our schedule. Wolves first away match of the season is against Everton. And then West Brom matches i should actually actually i should schedule some uh yeah some friendlies because it seems that my assistant manager only scheduled two friendlies for me and i'm also playing in the community shield all right <laughs> that's nice wigan everton chelsea manchester city arsenal newcastle very hard start of the season very 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 hard start of the season but in a way that's good 
because I'm I kind of can get you know with those games you know out of my system, and it's also this is what it, it this is what's important the last game of the season because that's when you are looking at okay I have four games left I need to win those games, and my our last games are kind of easy. Wolves given ninety three million dollars for the Premier League TV upcoming season. That's nice. Money, money, money. Season expectations. Now this is important. The minimum expectation is that the team achieve a respectable league position in the Premier League this season. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I will do that. If you think the team can achieve greater things in the league, the board will willing to back your game yeah, more money. And uh, If I'm clicking Europa League qualifiers through league, that means at least place seven. Should I do this? To try to attempt this? At least spot seven and qualify to Europa League. That means more money and more budget. Maybe I should do that. Because... How much more money? 47 from 38 to 47 and from 1 to 1-4. To no, I... Okay. I'm going to change the season expectation to Europa League qualifier through league. That means at least number 7. I finished on number 9 and my team was crappy. Right now I have the budget to buy me the players that will allow me to finish on number 7. And this will make things more interesting. In a way I don't think they will fire me if I finish on the number 9 again. Confirm. Confirm. 